It's dreadful when you see it, uh, if you've ever known anything about the biology of the rainforest, just to see the devastation, the desert, the destruction, the negativeness. Uh, but it's the implications of what that destruction means that, that is really most profound and most important. Whether we see it or not, climate change is happening. It really is happening and it's going on everywhere. I'm very fortunate that I see it firsthand because I go to the forest. I climb mountains where the glaciers have actually disappeared, that people grew up knowing that they were there. I go to the Arctic and I see the difference in the meltwater and I talk to the various peoples and the tribal peoples who say things are changing. The science and the actual changes are happening so fast that we have to act right now. So what can we do? We've got to stop procrastinating. We've got to stop just talking and articulating the problems. And we, start, we need to start acting on the solutions. Every single person in the world should understand that our planet is changing and that natural resources don't last forever. I think the most depressing uh, news at the moment, environmentally, is the destruction of our rainforests. It is the issue uh, for the environmental movement, has been for 20, 30 years. The truth is we haven't made any progress at all. Um, and I think because of the Prince's involvement and all the various people who are working with him, I think we're actually looking at, at you know, we, can, we are faced now with a possible solution, which is very exciting. It is one of those few things that is re on a, a sort of global scale problem that if we can uh, get everyone to work together from the ground right up to the sort of leading political figures of our time, there's just a chance that we could stop it in its tracks. I feel tremendously sad when I, when I hear about how much the rainforest is disappearing, but I also feel that you can't go to developing countries and wag your finger as a person from an already developed country and say, you mustn't cut down your rainforest because you're not allowed to develop. Now, who are the people that are, are demanding the products that come from rainforests being cut down? Usually us in, in developed countries, certainly us in Europe and America. We're the ones that are, are asking for wood product, products, paper, and with palm oil in particular, we're the ones that want the cheap products in the supermarkets. We've obviously been through the Industrial Revolution, which uh, transformed society as we know it, and I think it's quite important that we now go through a green revolution. It's important that we change our ways of manufacturing, our, our ways of industry and our ways of life. We've got to understand the nature of the problem. My view of the nature of the problem is a market failure. The market is the most powerful force for change other than nature itself. Uh, it is blind to the value of the environment. It has been uh, for, for, for generations. The effect is that it's been an engine of destruction. We need to find ways of writing the value of the environment back into the market so that the market is literate environmentally. If you do that, then I think you can trust the market to deliver, but we've got to do it now. We uh, have to be aware that, that the rainforest isn't ours to squander, um, and we can only, uh, in the interests of those who come after us and our descendants, our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, we have to do our best to make sure that the world remains inhabitable. I wholeheartedly support the Princess Rainforest Project and encourage everyone to sign up. On Bear Grylls, adventurer, survivalist, and frog lover. Now, I don't always eat them, only in extremes. And this one is a serious cutie. <coughs> but support the Prince's Rainforest Project for all of us. And send me your Rainforest SOS today.